Hello everyone, this is Pandar Kyao and my organization name is Uchudiba. Born and brought up in Tezpur, a small city in Assam, Spandan was passionate about computers since his childhood. He used to earn his pocket money by providing IT-related services from a very young age. He completed his schooling and higher secondary education in his hometown and then he moved to Guwahati for further studies. While pursuing his engineering degree from Guwahati University, apart from helping out his friends in problems related to computers, he also started a small venture of his own. Then he went on to work as an intern in Microsoft. After completing his internship in August 2016, he started his own venture Uzudiba. During the initial days, I was the only member in Uzudiba. For next two years, we had four team strength in our venture. Currently, we have 10 salaried regular members. We also have few part-time contract-based employees. I was searching for a name that represents the nature of the business along with regional touch. I got this name Uzudiba. Uju is a SMS word that means easy and Diba means solving the problem. Solving your problem is our motto. Although there are several companies are already there in the market, there is a gap in the market. We can build a bridge for that gap. We were able to minimize the gap. I was pretty determined to start the business without any help from anyone. Starting from my college days, I was working as a freelancer. I saved few thousand bucks. I used those money as capital. Yes, I got a lot of support from my friends and family. But at the same time, I got demoralized from a few. The negative remarks worked as a letter for me. These words or the people help me do my best during the journey. After starting, the main issue I face is to get the fast customer. I was distributing the leaflet door to door on my own to few possible leads, but nothing more. Then I got my first work order from a friend of my previous client, for whom I have worked during my college days as freelance. It's been almost six years now. Even in the COVID crisis, we work every day. We are getting continuous order. I'm quite satisfied with our team members. They are the main backbone of Uju Diva. As a startup, they have also pushed themselves to learn new things or to come out of their comfort zone. In the last financial year, we have completed the turnover of 4 million. We are aiming for 8 million this year. Now we know how to do business, how to market, how to develop a product, or how the market behaves. As a long term goal, we want people to remember us for each and every IT related stuff, the software, the mobile application and so on. We want to set up the complete ecosystem for information technology so that anyone uh, with language problem or geographical disadvantage for the people of Assam or Northeast, it becomes easier and cost effective access to the software and information technology. We already have worked with Govt of Assam, Govt of Arunachal Pradesh, renowned corporates or companies of Assam. Out of eight states in Northeast, we develop at least a software for each. We also have successfully developed few softwares for IAE. I personally have done multiple workshops with IAE. We are so proud to have IAE as one of our clients. We recently have discussed few ways on how to expand our business or how to get more exposure for our next level of goal. IAE is doing tremendous work in grassroots level. My message for upcoming entrepreneurs is money is a medium of exchanging values. If you can create values, you will get traction. I started my journey from zero. If I can do that, then definitely others can too. The industry and sectors could be different, but the figures would be different. But it can be done. My mantra for living every day is do your work, don't worry about the result. It always seems impossible until it's done. This case study video was presented to you by Indian Institute of Entrepreneurship. To celebrate India completing 75 glorious years of independence, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahatsav.